The case is mysterious and even mystical. An entire legion suddenly disappeared in the Roman Empire. The history and path of almost every part of the Roman army, scientists have established from ancient sources and archaeological findings. Legionnaires left many traces in Europe and Asia. On the site of old camps, archaeologists find bricks, tiles and other items with legion numbers. But after 120, the 9th simply disappeared. The main version is that it was ambushed and destroyed in northern Britain by the Caledonians in 122. This story has given a lot of inspiration to writers and movie makers. Many fiction books and fantasy movies have been published on the subject of the 9th. The scientific community got excited about such an anti-scientific approach and tried to find a scientific explanation for his disappearance. Sort of traces of the Legion were found after 125 on the Lower Rhine and in the Middle East, but no solid data were found. Most likely, there were so-called vexillations, small units allocated for tactical tasks. It is believed that the 9th was ambushed by the Picts, coloured. This was their way of avenging the Romans for their defeat at the Gravel Mountains in Scotland in 84. The 9th of Spain was recruited in Spain by Gnaeus Pompey in 55 BC. He joined the army of Julius Caesar in the Gallic War. By the way, at first he had to carry out a decimation in it. Then the legion heroically showed itself in the suppression of the revolt of Boudicca in the British campaign of Claudius and the last time it was seen in the very north of England at Carlisle in 108. Only circumstantial facts speak in favor of the theory of the destruction of the 9th by the Northern Britons, but they are quite convincing. The first is the fate of Marshal Saturninus, who served in the 9th as Tribune Laticlavius, the second most senior officer just before the disappearance. He lived long afterward, but was not given a new military position until 25 years later. This is what happened when a commander lost his legion or abandoned it in battle. The second circumstantial evidence is the transfer in 122 from the banks of the Rhine to northern Britain of the 6th Victory Legion. Apparently, there was an urgent need to fill the gap. And the third, ruling then Emperor Hadrian in that year, has ordered to erect in Britain a defensive rampart from sea to sea. It could be argued that the limes began to be built on his orders in Germany and on the Danube as well. But if the islands were all quiet, would fortifications have been necessary? The probable scenario could be the following. The Caledonians offered peace and friendship and invited the legate of the IX Legion to the negotiations. At the suggestion of the barbarians, he should have brought more troops to look more representative at the meeting. The commander rejoiced, knowing the peace-loving policy of Hadrian. He thought that the emperor would praise him for it, but led 7,000 of his men into a well-prepared ambush. There is another option. Druids and ancient gods cursed the hated invaders, and they perished in impenetrable forests and swamps. Since then, the unsettled souls of the legionaries occasionally emerge from the marshes, and the sight of them is horrible. 